Hey guys, it's Ed again. Well, been awful busy this spring. I haven't done a lot of videos, so I apologize to my subscribers. Um, but that's just the time of the year, and uh, that's what happens. So, uh, I have been doing a little bit of work, and uh, I'll show you what I've been working on. You guys have seen the boat, so that's uh, right there. But if you notice, sorry about the truck going by, uh, I have a uh, cover over some of it. I was trying to work on it one day. I was trying to buff out the windshield, and it was so hot out here. The sun was just beating down on me. It was killing me. So, uh, But you can see where I buffed and uh, where I didn't buff. Still got some crap here on it, but that's okay. I haven't washed off this side. But I cleaned up the steering wheel and uh, did all that. But what happened was over there, right there, I'm not walking over there because I'm too lazy, is the metal frame that holds up this canopy. And of course the wind caught it before I had it staked down and tried to take it for a ride. And uh, so basically, I didn't want to throw the top out because it's still pretty good shape. There's a couple little rips in it, but it would make a good sunshade, and that's pretty much what I needed. So what I did is I took all these 2x4s that I had from the train uh, track removal, and uh, which I pretty much utilized every piece of that except for... Um, some that I burnt, but um, so this is basically what we come up with is uh, a two by four frame. You can see here, I got a two by four, it's seven foot long. It just happened to be what I had, four of those. And then I notched them in the corners. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the two by four is cut right here and then it goes up. So there's a notch cut out and this two by four here sets right on top of that so that's that's pretty good joint there this two by four here happens just to be screwed in from the back side so it's not as good a joint but it, it works so then what i've done is i've screwed here to hold it up and then screwed through here and screwed through here and screwed through there i, I just screwed the hell out of it i know guys I, I, once you're going with that stop it so um anyway so I built my first contraption. I'll show you what I built. It didn't work because it was non-adjustable. It's in the burn pile. This is what I did first. You can see here I've taken some 2x4s, put a half inch piece of plywood. It's actually 716 OSB, but whatever. And I cut my wooden supports at 30 degrees because that's about what it looked like when I remember looking at it. Well, when I put it up there, um, it wasn't quite steep enough, and uh, I had a gully on all four sides, and it would collect the rain and kind of sucked. So I knew I needed to raise that peak up. So that would require me to cut longer boards, or longer rafters, I guess we'll call them, these pieces which are just two by twos well they're two by fours cut in half actually that's a two by three that's a two by three because that's what i had um but as if you can see check that little thing out her what i did is i took angles pieces of angle iron cut them off about two inches and uh bolted them just like you see and uh two to each two by two and all the way around and it creates this uh flexible joint in the middle and um it works pretty good only problem is, is it's really sharp on the top and i poked more holes in my tarp getting it up there but like i said it's already got holes more for shade don't really care if it rains a lot through it um so <clears throat> then i cut that piece out you can see here i cut 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 and that chunk thing that i just showed you got that out of there and then i just made these long two foot long uh pieces so i could extend my rafters up 
and bada bing bada boom we have support so my suggestion to anybody who has one of these tarp sheds and they want to do this that little uh swivel hinge in the middle works awesome very simple to build definitely the way to go what I, and you need two people to do this don't do it by yourself because you'll swear a lot and i did but i did it and what i would do is i would cut cut these long so this whole piece goes out and sticks out over the edge and uh, i would put the tarp on and then i or roof or whatever the hell you want to call it and then i would have one guy go inside and uh push on it with a stick or if you, i mean i stood inside the boat and pushed it up um but on a ladder or whatever and push that up so it's nice and tight which that's pretty good now i don't think the rain will stick to it or pock it up too bad and um and then have them uh you know make your frame oh by the way they say this is a 10 foot by 10 foot frame well i was pretty accurate with my measurements now and i could be out of square but i tell you what make it make it short make it like uh, a half inch short maybe on all four sides because uh, or at least on two sides so you'd be a quarter inch short and i don't even know guys if it'll squeeze over there i had to do some pulling and prying and actually what i did was i cut you, you can't quite see here uh, let me go over on this side uh, you can't see it over here either well yeah you can kind of you see what i did there i cut the corner off i squared off the corner so um or chamfered it so it, and i did it on all four corners just to gain a little bit which she's tight i mean it's all i want to do to pull it that's why it's crooked but but it's tight so it's uh it's it shouldn't shouldn't hold water wait over here a little bit looks like it could be a little pocket right there but i mean if i pulled it tighter there it would probably do it i could bring it around and put a tack in it or something too so if it ponds on me but um anyway that's what i've been working on a little bit plus it's been the end of the school year and the kids have had a ton of assemblies and all that good stuff so i've been doing that at night and uh so but the old boat is coming had some guys i was talking about this transom I don't know. I mean, everybody says, oh, take the transom out. It's rotted anyway. You know, it's rotted. It's always rotted. But, you know, I don't think it is. I mean, it could be, I suppose. But um, I don't I don't know if it is or not. I mean, they said you got to hang the motor on it and see what it does. But I think, I think it would hold up. We'd know if the transom rips off and the motor passes you and as you're sinking steadily that would suck but um anyway uh this is just a piece of aluminum blowing around but i did clean some of the grunge out of it i'm not a big fan of this blue paint but it seems to be stuck on there pretty good and i don't know if i'm going to be able to get it off so um but anyway guys quick video just wanted to uh show you what i'm doing Oh yeah, by the way, the Globe Star camping trailer is for sale. So if you guys are anybody interested uh, and you're in the area or come up into upstate New York, uh, it's uh, I got it on Craigslist right now for fifteen hundred, but uh, it's um, negotiable, of course. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.